change your heart, change your life, change the planet. Hey everybody, Tim Van Orden, coming to you from Ballsbrook Road in Woodford, Vermont, which is one of my very favorite places to run in the world. It's magical in here. And as I'm running along, I'm thinking about what the past few days have been like for me and why I'm here tonight and how that might be of value to you. A few videos ago, I mentioned that I'm in the midst of a pretty profound depressive state. And one of the challenges of being in such a state is that it's hard to see far in front of you. It's like a fog of war where maybe you can see five feet, but you don't know what's 10 feet ahead. You definitely don't know what's 100 feet ahead and a couple miles away, can't even guess. So there's a lot of possibility there and in the midst of depression, that possibility is generally negative. There are things in the future, but they're not good. I can't see them, can't describe them, I just know they're not good because I don't feel good. So knowing that I've been really careful not to try to create a future for myself. And I think this is really important now when somebody is in the midst of a deep depression, whether it's you or someone that you know, putting a future in front of someone is really frightening and just seems foreign and unreal. And I know that I have a future. I just don't know what it is. So what I do, what I've been doing, is rather than trying to come up with a plan, rather than giving myself something to move towards, I just move myself. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter why, all that matters is that I move. And as I'm moving, to be present to what I'm feeling, to what I'm seeing, to what I'm smelling, hearing, maybe even tasting, otherwise known as mindfulness, and allowing myself the opportunity to really savor it, to really deeply let it touch me, let it affect me. Because a big part of depression is something they call anhedonia, which is essentially the inability to feel anything good. Hedonia, like hedonic, hedonism, good feelings. So it's really hard to visualize a future to project into a narrative, which is what brains do constantly throughout the day. In a depressed state, it's really hard to manufacture a, a future that isn't frightening. So it's hard to feel good in relation to a story, in relation to a plan, a dream, a goal. So instead, the thing that I found, the only thing that I found in addition to movement, but even more powerfully so, is that when you allow yourself to move mindfully, soaking up all the sensory information, not judging it good or bad, but just really letting yourself fully feel it, fully exploring it, and allowing that to be the moment, the movement. That's what moment means in Latin. It means movement. It's not a static photograph of what is. It's being in the movement of the world and of you integrated into that world, not separate from it. And when you allow the world to touch you through your senses, when you allow it to permeate you and sink into you and let that be you for a while, doors start to open up. The world doesn't seem so frightening. It feels like maybe there's a future lurking somewhere and maybe it's green and lush and beautiful. 
and we don't need to worry about that yet but just know that maybe that's a possibility and we can start to allow that to exist by just soaking it in by rolling down the window when you drive and feeling the breeze on your face regardless of whether it's a wet breeze a cold breeze a warm breeze a smoggy breeze that's your moment that's your life that's your world feel it and by doing this the last few days and really allowing myself just to be and notice everything that's coming up and throughout the day just really intentionally letting go it's not about focus I think a mistake that people make with mindfulness is to think that it's aggressively focused that I'm going to hone in on the sound of the stream or look at a particular leaf and see all of its details it's more about surrendering it's more about letting go of the conversation that says that tree is important that that stream is important that that leaf is important letting go of the idea of importance and just be a feeling creature just get yourself to feel deeply let it come into you let it populate you let it fill you without meaning without judgment and it'll change you and one of the things that I noticed that I love so much about this is that when you've ended a relationship especially for men but women as well just not as much your testosterone goes down significantly and testosterone is one of the big drivers in our sense of focus purpose confidence uh, it makes us feel like there's a direction makes us feel like there's something to go towards and we're the one that can do it I'm competent and capable and when you have lower testosterone there's more of a humility it's a it's a feeling it's so clearly obvious if you've ever experienced this but there's a sense of gentleness there's a sense of uh, submission almost and surrender becomes so much easier uh, it's really only problematic when you fight it when you especially for men when you try to be a man and try to fight through it and shame yourself for not having a sense of direction for not having the confidence in you you beat yourself up you feel inadequate rather than surrendering submitting to the world not to other people submitting to what your body is doing to what it's going through letting it run its course submitting to your grief that doesn't mean collapsing under your grief it simply means allowing yourself to feel your grief allowing yourself to explore your grief so when I'm mindful of these experiences that low testosterone humility really allows me to open and feel an incredible gentleness and it's one of the the most beautiful things that I've ever experienced it's right up there with being in love and I think it's a great healing salve if you've lost a love or if you've lost something that led to a depression a sense of self perhaps a version of you that you loved a version of you that you believed in that in the world came along and snatched it away and said no that's not you I was just a dream you're the failure lying on the floor not the victor so that gentleness and that submission into your own body into your own experience is healing and I'm glad that I went looking through my toolbox to find some things because this is one of the best I've got and it's allowing me to really open up to the world and to open up to myself and to heal with less scar tissue 
and to find love just in moments. I hope there's something in there for you. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave your comments. And uh, yeah, and subscribe and Patreon and all that stuff. And, and even the gimbal is tired of this video. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.